Hello everyone, you're watching New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today I've been working, well, not just today, but probably for the last few weeks, feels like months, on these GPUs, these beautiful Maxwell GPUs to my right. This is the GTX 980 four-way SLI benchmarking video. And I hope you guys are excited about it because I've been excited working on all of it. So a couple different things that I had to do before I could actually start doing the benchmarks. First, I had to uh, upgrade the platform for our test bed. And now we've switched from X79 to X99. So this amazing system to my right, I'm just gonna read off some of the specs here. We're using an Intel Core i7-5960X that's been overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. Rip Jaws 16 gigabyte kit of 24 100 mega transfer per second DDR4 memory from G-Skill, and an Asus Rampage 5 Extreme X99 motherboard. And then we're using a Corsair H110 in push-pull configuration. Uh, you can see that it's actually using my, my trusted installation with zip ties to our N1 D frame here. It's, it's custom. I'll, I'll, I'll make a video about it later. You'll love it. Uh, and also we're using a Samsung 850 Pro SSD, as well as the Rosewell Hercules 16 watt, 1600 watt PSU. Uh, now, on top of that, of course, four GTX 980s. Uh, two of them are EVGA brand, and then we have Gigabyte as well as Asus. And we'll have the links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing any of those. Uh, Maxwell, we should talk about that for a moment. Um, the full rundown, you can check out any one of our 980 videos and we'll cover that. But I just want to talk about some of the things I've actually done differently in, in this case for benchmarking. And that is uh, in regards to dynamic super resolution or DSR. So basically what DSR does is take the native resolution of your monitor and pump up what the resolution would be in terms of what the GPU is going to be running it at. So let's say it runs it at times four, which would put it at 4K. So it's basically creating a 4K image and then downscaling it to your 1080p monitor. Now it's kind of a layman's uh, way of explaining it, but that's the way I've understood it. So essentially what I've done is do the benchmarks including that. On top of that, there's an additional setting called DSR smoothness. What DSR smoothness does is it basically um, removes some of the aliasing or sharpness and causes it to be a little bit more blurry uh, to trade off for performance. So if you're doing this to test out uh, a game setting and you want to make sure it's playable because maybe your system can't play at 4K, you can mess around a little bit with DSR smoothness, kick it up to maybe 50%, 80%, or 100%. It won't look that great, but it might run a little bit better. Uh, I ran all the tests at 0% because I wanted to see what would happen at the most sharp, most aliased image, which is going to take a lot more out of the system as well. I found that when you do that, you're running just about a frame or two below what you'd be getting if you're running it on a 4K monitor. Check that out in the benchmark, uh, benchmark section here in just a moment. But essentially, it would allow you to test as if you were testing for 4K. One great benefit for that. Uh, so aside from that, let's actually uh, let's take a look at those benchmarks. All right, so overall some pretty impressive numbers, uh, one of which I was actually most impressed by, and that was a 3D Mark 11 extreme score of 19,292. It's pretty massive. Uh, 3D Mark score of 15,581, also a very nice score. Uh, although we, I was not able to do any 4K testing in uh, Fire Strike Ultra uh, on this particular run, but that's just because I was already so far ahead in my benchmarking, I don't want to have to restart and do it all over again just to include that or just take another run through and swap everything out. So bottom line is I didn't include that, uh, but to, to go down the line with the rest of some of these benchmarks, uh, BF4, 
Uh, awesome numbers, average of 82 frames a second, uh, but you could really feel the dips when it got below 60 and just really was chugging. Um, so still at this point, I am standing behind the idea that we are not, uh, we're not able to 4K game as a premium experience. Uh, not to mention I had to have four of these 980s in order to pull off 82 frames a second. So I, I really don't think we're there yet with 4K gaming, but it's still something that we should be striving for. Um, I, I say we as if I'm one of the hardware manufacturers, but it's what hardware manufacturers should be striving to do uh, because gaming performance always increasing will always be great because as more software comes out, they're obviously using the newest stuff and it's just gonna benefit us in the end. Um, Crisis 3, I did a torture test. I don't know if you saw that in the benchmarks uh, at uh, a resolution of 5120 by 3200. That's basically DSR uh, 4X uh, of the 2560 by 1600 NEC monitor that we have. And it was completely unplayable, but I just was playing around with DSR a little bit and I thought I'd throw that in there just to, to show you that I, I did torture myself a little bit on this amazing system. Uh, wattage too, we, we, I did some testing and I double checked to make sure I was, I was looking at the total wattage used at each one of the tests, both at single, um, uh, two-way, three-way, and four-way SLI. So total system power drain at, uh, with a single 980, we're looking at 376 watts for this particular system. That's pretty low. Uh, two-way, we're looking at 529 watts. Three-way, we maxed out at 773. And four-way, we were under 1,000 at 936 watts of uh, total system power drain. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And until the next time, we will see you guys very soon.